Okay, so we're going to build a OD tool holder. This tool holder is from MT Tooling, or in the USA, it's MD Tooling. So this holder fits on an NL, a Mori Siki DMG Mori NLX machine. So what we want is this face here to orient up against the uh, turret flat position. And this should be pointing actually the opposite way. So this tool holder, when you import it, is actually flipped 180 degrees from the direction that uh, we want it to be in interfacing with the uh, solid model for the turret. So to flip this around, I could actually rotate this 180 degrees about the um, Y axis here. Uh, why don't we do that? We'll do that first. Actually, let's, uh, let's do this since I already have it highlighted. You could pick a face that uh, you want to orient along uh, normal to the Z axis, which it currently is normal, but we want it the other way. So what I'm gonna do is just pick a line Z and it's going to place that so that it's normal to the Z axis. And you'll notice that um, this needs to slide up into the bore into the turret. And, you know, they, they, it looks centered. I just, you know, as an engineer, I wanna make sure. So I'm just gonna pick one of these cylindrical faces that's supposed to be revolved about this uh, Z axis as the center, and I'm going to hit align Z again, and I'm going to let a spree make sure that this is basically 100% aligned. Now, um, checking this whole thing, this is one single solid model. So typically, when I get models and it's you know 50 or 60 different individual solids, I'll trim away things that I don't need. But this one, because when I select it it's one single solid model. Uh, there's nothing that really I can do by default and it should be a pretty small file anyway. So loading a bunch of these on my turret, uh, it's not gonna take up a lot of space. But I'm gonna highlight this and you can highlight by selecting it. You can drag over a portion of it. Uh, and if you drag from uh, top left down to bottom right, this will group anything that's within the box but you'll notice if I go this way, it's not grouping anything. Well, the whole solid has to be completely enveloped by the box this way. So this actually gives me more control over what I'm uh, grouping on the screen. But I'm gonna come over here and typically when I see uh, tooling, you know, it's gonna have a, a coating on it. So I might want this to be a little bit darker than that. Uh, I'll pick this one here. <clears throat> so it's a little bit darker, but then, you know, looking at their website, their logo is yellow and black with the black being on the outside, or I mean the yellow being on the outside. I don't want to make this face yellow. I think that'll kind of look weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick these two faces, come over to copy, and you can select, since I have a face, you can select attribute. And I'm gonna pick, um, I'm gonna pick maybe bright yellow here. Let's see what that looks like. So now when I load this in, it'll look like this. Um, and maybe this is a little bit dark, uh, but I'm gonna leave it as now. So uh, at this point now, we want to create a location where our tool will appear when I create the tool. So for turning tools, uh, I guess really quick backing up, the, the red x-axis points toward the main spindle. So when I rotated this using a line Z, it already put the tool for OD turning toward the main spindle. But this is also the orientation we want for the tool itself. We want this, the insert to be facing the way we want it to be, which is toward the main, and then the tool shank or square shank for the tool would be pointing from here up into the holder. But I wanna place this location at the base of the holder. So I'm gonna put it somewhere up here. And the way that we do that with a spree is we're gonna put that at about the center point of where the holder is going to sit. So it'll be sitting 50% on either side. 
in this pocket along the center line. So to get that, we can see that we've got our you know, little uh, tool wedge here that's gonna hold the tool in there. And I'm just gonna come to geometry, do a segment two. And I'm gonna snap to the center of that. And then I'm gonna come up to uh, the, the X axis. And when I do that, it puts, a, it puts a little segmented line right there. So I'm gonna use that to go back to the home and come back to translate. And when I pick translate, I'm gonna select that edge point. And this is where I'm going to use. So when I create a tool, it's gonna to have the tool flush here against this, this tool wedge. And then it's going to be sitting over this way inside of the pocket with 50% forward and behind of this location uh, uh, where, where the zero point of that tool location is going to be. So at this point, uh, this is a fairly simple holder. That's all we really need to do. Um, what I want to do here is just actually save that out on the, uh, on the file as a tool adapter location. And then I'll do another one for a holder adapter in case I have some special solid holder that one day I want to use and load it in there where it would appear from here and go down. So at this point, uh, we can go ahead and save this as a simulation file. And the way that we do that is we go to File, Save As, and then we're going to pick Tool Holder or Holder Files, GDML. And when I do that, I'm going to browse to the data folder where I want to keep this. I'm going to go to my holders, and I'm going to come to Empty Tooling, and I will call this, this is their item number here, I'll call this OD. Uh, turn and I'll just put NLX on there just so we know and I will uh, save this and we're done okay so what I'm gonna do now is go to the machine view so you can switch between the part you're programming and the simulation and these can actually be on two different monitors and you could be programming while you're simulating so this is a NLX here that has a 20 station turret. The holder that we just did is for the standard turret, not the 20 station turret. So I'm going to go to the machine setup and I'm just going to double click and come here and pick a machine, an NLX that has the 12 station turret and say OK. So once I load that, I can see my turret, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the machine components off so we can see the turret a little bit more easily. Come here to tool assemblies, right click on a station, and this is the tool that I just created. And we can see in the preview, that is the tool. And when I say okay, it opens up on the turret. And looking at this, I might think that this maybe is not in the right position, but um, what I did is I uh, brought in the PDF for the turret, and it does look like this is set forward. So if you look at where the bore is, it's not centered on the turret face uh, at all. So um, if I go back to Esprit, I'm going to say OK and go to the part view, you'll see that this bore was forward on the turret, the turret face should be about here. So this is going to project forward. So looking at the machine view, that's exactly what's going on. I can right click and say let's add a turning tool just to verify that my turning, turning tool is coming in the right position. And we can see here that it does look like everything is looking good. You can see that the tool is up against that turret wedge and it is flush up against the top of this holder so it looks nice during the simulation and I've got my uh, you know my insert there for a left-handed tool sitting at the center line so we're good to go for uh, starting to program our part and uh, the the holder looks good you can see the MT on there Everything looks great.